How do we solve systems of equations by graphing? I know you're probably at home going, ah! Slow down. We can actually get through this together. Systems of equations is really just two equations graphed, and then we just try to find their intersection or where they meet, and that's our solution. Makes this seem a little easier, huh, now? Let's try it. Start with our first equation. Let's bring down here number one, and we're gonna write it again so we can identify the slope and the y-intercept, because that's really all you need to graph an equation. Starting with my y-intercept, I remember that I intercept the pass of a quarterback. The y-intercept is where the line intercepts the y, so it would be at negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Now, how do I know it's negative? because of the sign that's right in front of the number. Now from there I can always just go with the slope and my slope in this case is going to be a 1 because there's really a 1 in front of the x and if my slope's a 1 I would put it over 1. So therefore from here I just count my slope which would be I rise 1 and I run 1. So I have another point right there and if I want to even do a third point to make sure I would go ahead and I rise another one and I run another one. Okay. So let's go ahead and graph our first line so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so I go ahead and finish connecting my three points, drawing a nice long straight line. Try to use up all the space you have. We never know where they're actually going to end up intersecting. So I'm done with the first one. Now i got to work on my second one. So I bring down my second one here, and I go ahead and I rewrite y is equal to 3x. Now I do not have a b or y-intercept. So I know I can plug in a plus zero there, okay? Why do I do plus zero? Because if there's nothing there, that means that my y-intercept is actually zero, which means I can start on my y-axis at zero. So that would be my point. Now, I know my slope is always in front of the x, so my slope in this case is three, which is the same as three over one. So from that point, let's go ahead and count the slope. I can go up, 3 and over 1. And as I've said before guys, I recommend that we use three points to make sure our line is straight. So let's count again our slope from there. Up 1, 2, 3 and over 1 to the right. Now that we have three points, we're ready to connect and we know that our line will be straight. Let's go ahead and connect it. Okay, so as you guys can see, I went ahead and shaded in the point where they actually both intersect or where they meet. This point right here is actually our solution. Why is that? Let's take a step and understand. First of all, I encourage you guys to always graph on graph paper. It makes the equations line up very nicely and you can actually see exactly where they touch. Okay, so here we go. We graphed our number one. We went ahead and graphed number two and they actually intersected right at that point, which is our solution. So what is that point? Well, our x is 1, 2, negative 2, because it goes to the left. And our y is down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So our solution set for this problem is negative 2, negative 6, because that's where they both intersect or they meet. If you guys wanted to check this problem, we can plug in a negative 2 for x and a negative 6 for y, since those are our coordinates, you could plug them in here. You can see that it actually does work out. Let's, let me show you guys. Number 2 says y is equal to 3x. Well, we said that y is negative 6, so I put negative 6 is equal to 3 times x, which is negative 2. Now, 3 times negative 2 should give you negative 6. And on the left, we have negative 6, so perfect, it checks out. And if you take some time and go ahead and do this on the first equation, you'll see that it also works out. Our solution must always work for both of our equations, making that solution for the systems of equations.